Hey, Modern Drummer, Roy Mayorga here from Ministry. Welcome to West Palm Beach, Florida. It is hot and soupy here, but I love it and I can't wait to play tonight. But before I do that, I'd love to give you a rundown on this DW Maple Drum Kit Collector Series. Let's do it. Come on over. All right, starting with this. This is a 14 by eight um, brass ebony stain, ebony over brass. 14 by 8 snare drum. Uh, this is my main snare drum for ministry. It has been my main for now for the last couple years. I really love the way this drum sounds. It's got a lot of crack and it really cuts through the mix and it's just like a cannon of a snare drum. I, I, I can't live without this thing. This is what, this is my main. Um, I love it. Uh, it works great with these other drums, especially in this size, like a 16 inch floor tom, an 18 inch floor tom. It just corresponds great tonality-wise with all these drums. I have two 22-inch kick drums. Um, I was playing 24 for a long time, but I decided to go to 22 um, when I uh, was in the studio one day trying a, 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 another drum kit that had smaller uh, kick drums. I was kind of against it at first because I, I'm a 24 guy, but when I hit these 22s, I'm like, you know what? I need a set of these, so now I'm back down to 22s. It's the first time in 30 years I played 22-inch kicks, so I think I'm going to stay with this forever. I love it. I'm never going to go back. Um, these are all maple shells. They have Kick Pro pillows inside of them, and they have the DW uh, 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 muffles in the front. And they also are equipped with uh, Randall May uh, Beta 52 mics on the inside, and as well as the Toms, they have Beta 52s on the inside as well. So it's just like basically four kick drums. <laughs> Sounds killer. Um, I'm using all DW hardware, obviously. I'm using 9,000 pedals. I love these. Um, what else am I using here? Uh, Sabian cymbals. Uh, I'm using AA Rock Sizzle Hats. These cut great. Really good chick. Really cuts. Uh, I'm using a Holy China. I think it's a 19, or no, it's a 20 inch China. And then a 20 inch AAX Heavy Crash. Badass. And this is a 22 inch AAX. Um, goes great with all with, with these two cymbals back and forth. This has got a little bit of lower pitch, but it has a nice high end like uh, you know wash on the top of it. And then I have this, uh, this st China stack here. It's a Radia HH on the top. It's a 16 inch with a 19 inch AA Extreme on the bottom, China. And uh, here's my uh, signature uh, ride cymbal. Uh, it's an Anvil ride. It's a 24 inch killer ride. Cuts through everything. Um, what do I got here? This is an AA China. Good all around China. And here's a really cool one. It's only one, there's only one of these in existence. This is an Omni Zen China. It's 24 inches. And it's got a really cool growl to it. Really low. It's, it's got a nice wash to it. And here's this um, a 12 inch uh, Zill Bell. I like to go back and forth on, you know. Yeah. And uh, what else? I also have, uh, my kick and snares are also triggered. Um, I'm using a, a two box, sample box that is in here. As you can see, it's a Drummit 5 two box. I can make my own samples and I can put them in there. For ministry, I actually went back and uh, sampled uh, a couple of Lindrum kicks and Lindrum snares and DMX kicks and DMX snares and uh, layered those two together, running those also through gated reverb and having those on separate outputs of the triggers. So that's why I have uh, double triggers on each drum. So one is the main uh, a snare sample and the other one's a reverb sample. So that way the front of house guy can juice the reverb samples more when he wants, depending on the ministry song we're playing. And with having those older uh, drum machine sounds like the Lin Drum and DMX. It kind of gives you a bit of that old ministry feel with a bit of new and mixing it with the acoustic kit and it just sounds big and powerful. Um, yeah, and I got a Porter and Davies butt kicker. Can't leave home without that. Especially when you play with in-ears, you need a little bit extra, you know. And I got a wedge back here in case everything goes to hell. I could just have that, but I also have that I have my bass guitar and kick drum going through that just for some air to hit me in the back. Um, yeah. 
Oh, the Rata drums. This is something that I got to put together with DW when I first joined on with DW in 2006. I wanted octobons or drums like these, but they said we can make you a different kind of drum. We can, we can make them like this and we can call them Rata drums. Rata is my nickname from um, Soulfly. So uh, they thought it'd be a good idea to call them that. So I'm happy about that. Nice, right? Vader sticks. These are Vader rocks. Um, these are a little bit different than your normal Vader rocks, other than the crazy carving I put on them. These have like a thicker shoulder, so uh, I get a little bit more weight out of them and more throw. And uh, this grip here, a lot of people ask me, why do I do this? I do this so when it gets all soupy and sweaty at some shows like today, you never have to worry about these things slipping out of your hands. And yeah, people say, you should use gloves, you should use tape. I don't like using gloves because I like the way the stick feels in my hand. I don't like using tape because it throws off the weight of the stick. So I don't mind uh, these splinter things sticking into the calluses. And I don't, my hands don't get cut up. A lot of people say, oh, your hands will get cut up. I'm like, no, if you got calluses, your hands won't, won't be cut up. And it's fine, you know? And they soften up after like a few seconds anyway, so it doesn't hurt. It just feels good in the hand. You get a little more confidence. You don't have to worry about it slipping away or you monkey gripping it because you're gonna think it's gonna slip away. It just makes you more at ease subconsciously and you can play a great show and not worry about it. That's why I do it. And I actually learned this technique from guys like Vinnie Paul and Mike Borden. Those guys showed me how to do this. Thank you, Vinnie. Modern Drummer is, I mean, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Modern Drummer. I've always have been from the first day when I first picked up my first issue, which was, uh, if I can remember correctly, it was Bill Bruford was on the front cover. It was when uh, King Crimson uh, just released uh, Discipline, and I was really into Bill Bruford when that record came out, and then his setup with Simmons, and his Tama kit with the big gong Tom. I, I thought he was the most incredible drummer, and I still do. Um, that was my first issue my first introduction to modern drummer and after that i've been buying modern drummer ever since and discovering all these great up and coming drummers that inspire me and i still you know read it and it's great you know and i'm happy to be a part of it and thank you for making me a part of modern drummer and today really special day um i've had one drum teacher i had him for only a month and a half and it was in 1978 i was eight years old this guy taught me form technique and rudiments and everything. We played to records together. He taught me how to, how to, you know, play songs from Zeppelin and Kiss and all that kind of, and all, anything that was going on in 1978, ACDC, you name it. Um, we haven't seen each other in over 45 years. And by chance, we found each other on Facebook and I'm seeing him for the first time in 45 years, today, as of like 15 minutes ago. His name is Charlie Sino, badass drummer. I can't believe you're here, get up here. Now, this is a long lost brother here, man. I cannot believe I'm standing next to this guy. I've been looking for this guy for years. I'm, I'm Italian, <laughs> I cry, I'm very sensitive. He's Italian. We uh, got together in 70, what, 77? 78. 78, place called... Uh, Music Corner. Music Corner was in Hialeah, Florida. That's right. He was seven years old. Eight. Eight. He always corrects me. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And uh, he was a hard hitter back then. He liked to hit the drums, and he just wanted to go crazy. And I said, you need to learn the rudiments. So I taught him the rudiments. And when I watch him play, I see him apply the rudiments to his solos, or, you know, to the band or whatever. And he taught me how to hold my sticks correctly. I told him how to hold the <laughs> sticks correctly. Right. <laughs> he, was holding them like, he was holding them like this. But uh, he was a great student, and I can't believe where he's at now. He's amazing, and I'm so proud. I'm really proud. It's awesome. It's, um, I'm overwhelmed. Me too. This is crazy. This is just crazy. And thank you. No, thank and you. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for getting me started. This guy got me started, man. You're the, you're, you're, you're like, you were like right at the beginning of the journey. Why? Thank you. How I got here. Well, thank I you. saw your potential, and it paid off. Thank you.
Sound check. 